Gary's too scary. Sticking Tick, out with his very well practiced snake. We just saw him take out BC, one of the best players in Saskatchewan. And Dippy with also a very respectable Pac Man. It's going to be a battle of projectiles. And wow, Dippy opening up with big, big damage. 82. And a forward smash. That's a zero to death. And now he's got Galaga in hand, too. Gary Too Scary might not have very much Pac Man experience. And wow, Dippy's patience is ridiculous. He hasn't been hit yet. Well, now he has, but that's commentator's curse. Okay, but Carrie just Carrie coming in with huge damage to here. He hasn't been hit yet on his on his second stock. And okay, he catches the roll on stage. Okay, just Carrie really wants to take this stock. He does not want to fall far behind after getting zero to death right off the bat. Catches the whatever that is. Lemon, lime, grenade, I don't know. Alright, and Tippy doing a great job of just staying away and not dying to this snake who has a lot of kill power. But he's just staying away, using that hydrant to keep him away and uh and he snipes him with the key. Gary's living though. Hydrant's coming down, gets it out of there, catches the fruit, and okay, yeah, that, okay, he's not dead though. That Nikita is chasing him. He's gonna live though. Wow, great, great job from Dippy. He's just being very, very patient. Let's catch the dash attack, here comes Nikita. He back airs it. Gets back on. And yeah, Dip, uh, you saw in the last set, Gary Too Scary had a very set out plan to, to edge guard Beezy's Wolf, but now with Dippy, Pac-Man's a completely different story. Pac-Man has a lot better recovery than Wolf. He misses grab there though, eats a dash attack for Gary to take first stock, but Dippy's got a good lead now. Gonna want to take off the stock real quick. He's got the bell. And Yeah, and Gary's too focused on the fire hydrant to, to see that forward smash coming out. Galaga ship in hand. It's coming out. Fire hydrant back down. Gary's managed to build up some a lot of damage really fast though. And he did not realize that the uh, the C4 was placed on him there, so after after taking that zero to death, Gary too scary is very much in this game. Carries out. Yeah, that dash back is really, really good for for Gary to avoid that grab. He's done it twice now. Putting up this wall. See if he can put up his wall too, though. Nice, using the hydrant. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. This is a really good set. Game five. Game five? Yeah. Oh, and he throws the key the wrong way. Gets Hydrant back down. Oh, he's just running at him. What's he doing? Dude, he's wild. Oh, my God. He misses the forward smash. Takes a forward tilt for it. Okay, waits out with the ledge trap. Keep his patience. It's really, really... Oh, my God. He parries the fire hydrant. He's just running at him and up smashing. Uh, yer. Toss away the key. Gets Hydrant back down. He's charging. What's he looking for? He wants the key again. He just keeps he keeps throwing it, but Gary's just waiting it out on that platform. Oh man. This is so scary. Time him out. Okay, bell in hand. He wants to ring it. Back throw. He's living though. Oh my god, he's at so much percent. Oh, that fire hydrant went at such a weird angle. Oh man, they're both just setting up their walls. Who's gonna get this kill first? Up air. 
back throw, that must be it. And yeah, it will be just too. A little bit stale, but it gets the job done. Dippy's gonna go up in game one. I think uh, right off the bat, it looked like Gary Too Scary didn't have that much Pac Man experience, but he definitely got more comfortable as the matchup went. So as the set continues, look for him to keep making those adjustments and uh, keep improving against Dippy. But that being said, Dippy did a very good job of just setting up his wall and waiting out Gary's options. This is a very, very different set from uh, from our last set as Wolf is a character that pretty much has to approach to get that big damage in, but Pac-Man can just sit back and wait for uh, wait for his opponent to approach, so Gary opened up this game with big damage now, but Dippy's making it up fast. And that up tilt is a really good option for for Snape to take out the uh, the Hydrant as it only takes one hit of the up tilt to do so. Gets him with the bell, up air. Hitting him with the bell, always good, but not as good in the air because Pac-Man doesn't really have a an aerial that kills really early, so he wants it on the ground so he can get a smash attack. First bell again. Gets a back air, but again, like I just said, that's not going to kill yet. He needs a smash attack off the bell. Nikita's out. And cool, he aired on just past the Nikita, but then gets caught with an up tilt, so really good, uh, really good trap from Gary Too Scary. Tries to take him out with the key. And Snake's ability to just break combos with the grenades has also been really huge for Gary. Catches the apple. Apple, apple, apple. Alright, and yeah, that apple will do it deceptively strong, especially at 150%. And this stuff just gets crazy. Once the once the hydrant is shooting at water and there's grenades flying around. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, and yeah, C4 just again so good when when you don't know where it is. So Gary too scary with almost a full stock lead here, but well not quite. But he is looking to extend it before he loses this stock. He's gonna take as much extra credit as he can. I mean he's looking for the two stock. Okay. Meets, meets the roll the wrong way, but I think that was just an up tilt maybe or something, but Gary Too Scary is going to take that two stock in. Like I said, once uh, once Gary Too Scary kind of started figuring out Pac-Man, he made those adjustments and Gibby's going to have to also make adjustments of its own if he wants to stay in this uh, stay in this tournament. This is Loser's Quarters, so most of this set is going home, but we're going to game three of a, of a best of five set, so... Chat is suggesting that Dippy's got a hero, so Pac-Man doesn't work out in this game. We'll see if he uh, opts for the switch, but just charging, charging, charging. Gets him with the uh, fire hydrant. It looks like they might just opt to play this entire set on a uh, Pokemon Stadium. Just holding back and taking time to uh, to get the projectiles set up. Very patient so far. 
Okay, Gary too scary. Gets punished for approaching there. And yet, Dippy, okay, yeah, great grab from Dippy, covers the spot dodge, which is really, really ridiculous that it can do that, but nevertheless, here's the bell, it's gotten in hand, okay, okay, I thought he was going to pick it back up, but, wow, okay, I don't know what that is, but missed with the up tilt and eats a forward smash for his troubles. If he's taking the first stock, Pike gets caught with the Nikita there to even it right up. Okay. Yeah, he got some decent damage in there. Wanted more though, obviously. Oh, he uses the water from the fire hydrant to launch himself. Yeah, staying safe. Yeah, gets him. Gets the hydrant with the key, and the hydrant ends up hitting Gary. So Dippy just a small lead here, but if he can take this stock off early, he could turn it into a big lead. Watch the hydrant. Wow, this wall from Gary coming out. Oh my god. Both these players are just very, very patient. He got the bell, picks it up. Can he get the kill? Oh my god, and he had the hit with the bell and then the uh, the grenade broke it up. So smart by Gary to always have that those grenades hanging around. Gets him out of any combo with trouble that he could be in. Okay, off stage now though. He's got the key, it looks like. No, it has the bell, my bad. Shielded. Wow, gets that back air in though. though. Here comes Nikita, and yeah, he tried to get to ledge there, but H is scary, just loops it around, and we are dead even, one stock apiece in this game three. Oh, big damage, big, big damage coming in from Dippy. All right, what he's got next? He's got the key. And it's been quite a while since, uh, well, there's a straight hit from, uh, from Gary to Scary, but before that, it's been quite a while since he got one. To be doing a really good job just hanging back, avoiding these projectiles. Yeah, it's nice with the key there. Okay, gets back to ledge. Dippy with a bit of a percent lead, but at this at this percent it barely matters because Gary Shoes Gary definitely has plenty of moves that'll kill. Attack, he's off stage. Hydra coming in. Oh man, this is so even. These two players are just in this matchup with these two players, like it is so evenly matched. Yeah, taking refuge behind the fire hydrant. Oh, but it gets blown up. Oh, and he's so close to death now. These straight hits are gonna start killing. Takes it back though. Oh, okay. I thought he might get his shield broken there, but great job to jump away. And yeah, no, that forward smash was risky. 
he went for it all and he paid. So Gary taking game three. And uh, game four, we'll see. If PS2. No, uh, no surprise there, as he would say, they make the best games. Personally, I would love to see this go to game five. So I'm sure for Dippy of this game. And it seems like as the set goes on, both players just get more patient. They just, they know that approaching at the wrong time could, uh, could lead to getting punished big time, getting hit with big damage, so. Both just waiting out the other one. And, okay, he gets caught, holy. I thought Dippy had him caught for a second, but. Okay, down throw. Nice parry. Yes, just parrying a forward smash. Hello. Galaga ship in hand, and here's big damage. Yes, it's get about a 30% lead, and now this is just right back to even. Where are you going? He's okay. Okay, nice snares. Yeah, it gets the... Oh, but it's... Oh, my God. That almost went down the exact same way the first stock went down. Uh, rolls behind. Okay, gets the jabs. Still very, very close, though. Gets another grab. Catches the air dodge. And just forward tilt, but he's not dead. He's not dead yet. Oh my god, he bounced off the stage and then Nikita! That's so unfortunate. Come on, Dippy, you got this. Oh, that key moves really, really slow. Gets him with the key. She takes a little bit of damage. Oh, these explosives from. Very too scary, even when he's not on the stage, though. They're ridiculous. Okay, he grabbed the key. He grabbed the bell. And... No, oh, Gary does a great job to get away. Putting on good damage now. Getting lots of extra credit on this stock. Okay, bell's back in hand. Okay, just chases him down. It's the throw. Tibby's really got to find a way to take this stock off, though. Does not want to let things get away from him. Okay. Uses the up smash to throw the hydrant in that weird direction. Doesn't help him no key. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. Last stock. This is Dippy's tournament stock, so. He's got the ship in hand. Let's see if he can use it to get big damage. He's off stage. Oh, really good job on the Nikita there. Okay, just armors through it though. And yeah, covers spot dodge with the grab. So, so good. Oh my god, Gary is just waiting. He fears nothing. Hydrant coming in. And Gary is just getting rid of the Hydrant as soon as it lands. He does not want that to be a tool that Pac-Man can use. Off stage again. Oh my god, he uses the mango. The Nikita's still there though. He gets away. He's on stage. Oh my god, that could have been just a forward tilt, I think, from. Oh, and he didn't realize how close he was to the Nikita. Oh my god, that is so unfortunate. What a great, great set though from two really, really good players.